Okay, hi everyone. So today I'm going to test the Blue Cat Audio VST plugin with OBS Studio because I just have some um, audio delay which I couldn't fix. And so we get back to our mic and let's add a filter. And I'm going to test the, uh, let's see, the Blue Cat Audio. Let me just add a filter just add um vsd plugin i just call blue cat audio and i can choose several of see that is the blue cat audio okay so before we we test anything let me show you how to download it it's all free. So you just search through cat audio. And it has the whole pack of VST um available for download. And you just click free pack. Okay, I'm testing the Windows, the 64-bit window VST version. And this is I think this is uh, this works with OBS Studio. Okay. And let's get back to our filters. <coughs> we just add this plugin. Let's go. And let's try a noticeable one, which is a chorus stereo. And so I'm not sure if you can. Um, you notice the change of my voice. Okay, and then I open the interface. That is the interface. And let's see. And this is playing it. One, two, three. You can always dial the gain or delay, something like that. But I'm not going to change it here. I'm just give you, um, a brief sense just let you hear the brief sense of how it does to my voice and this is the harmonizer um harmonizer fifth harmonizer fourth uh something like that the reason i pick um uh, maybe let's try another one and i'm going to try the flame of three Stereo. Okay, one, two, three. And let's do it here. Let's change it to uh, the detune one. So you notice the change, right? And this is the, fr uh, the fast treble flange. Heavy detune. One, two, three. Helicopter infinite light range light tremor and this is the man Okay <laughs> This is the painting flange reset that means no effect Okay let's try another one Let's try. Oh, okay. And just introduce another one. This is the frequency analysis. Um, basically, when I use this one, oh, excuse me, you see a graph, right? Um, this one. Um, this frequency graph is useful when you want to um change your voice. I mean, just fine tune your voice. When you click with the cross star, it will focus at specific, oh, excuse me, at specific, um, sorry, just got lost, specific frequency. Okay. And this is the dual peak. Uh, let's say dual channel. I'm, I just, I just use it once, so I'm not really sure how it works in detail. Um, but you can always experiment it yourself. 
low precision no view okay and let's try another one the gain one is not let's try the phaser let's see what we get for the phaser detune one two three and you can change the spread okay one two three and the depth when you change it to a yeah this is a huge depth funny one two three light white okay mod one two three four five reset slow motion okay let's try another one and i'll try this triple eq this eq is like uh let me see uh, when i change the pass let's say and you won't hear any low frequency okay and this one you hear only the low frequency let's try the low pass okay low pass and you can try let's say what we have the high pass low pass then the metal the meat cut um this one is the old speaker so um it sounds like you are speaking from a far distance okay and the resonant filter snare mid i think it works mostly with the instruments rather than the voice but i usually use it for the voice <laughs> okay and it sounds a whole lot different from your normal voice let's say what we get Mm -mm. Let set up transparent band pass high pass for which we got it before. Okay, let's remove the brewcat audio. Okay, so we get back to our normal um voice. <laughs> okay, let me turn off all the plugin that we have so you see and click all the eyes so that you can hear the background noise because i just turn on the fan and this is the actual voice recorded from my zoom h6 and the um row ndg2 i just i'm just keeping my mouth shut for five seconds Okay, and you can hear the background noise. Let's change it. Let's add all the plugin. And I change my voice with the uh, G form. Actually, I test several of the, uh, I mean, all these plugins worked in my system. Uh, okay, hold on. I just turn off the G form so you can hear my real voice. Okay. Um, the reason why I include, um, I mean, the reason why I record this video is I just want to show people, um, what VST plugins work for OBS Studio. Because from my previous videos, I just noticed some of, I mean, actually most of the VST plugins don't work with OS, uh, OBS Studio. And the two packs, the, I mean, the three major packs of VST plugins that worked, that work with, um, OBS Studio are the GVST. Um, and I'm speaking with the 64 bit Windows version. If you tried it with your Linux, is it Linux? Maybe. <laughs> or Mac, then maybe it has different results. But I'm strictly talking about the Windows 64 bit Windows 7, 
Windows 7 version. The GBST uh, and the rear, rear for, I mean, no, it's rear plug. And the blue cat audio. Basically, what you can down, you can download it. You can download these free packs of 64-bit BSD plugins from internet. So let's say rear plug. I'm not going to download it. I'm just showing you how I search it. And that's the rear plugs. And you just go to the download section. And I'm downloading the 64-bit for Windows, okay? And the second pack is GVST. So you go to the um, downloads, and it has the effects. And you can visit the packages page, because if you want to download all the effects, instead of doing it one by one, you can do so. You just download the packages. And it has the 64 bit and the 32 bit version. Okay, and the third one is the Blue Cat Audio. It is also free, which is this one. And I just go to the free pack. Okay, and this is their website, Brucat Audio. And again, I just go here, 64 bit window. And you can download like all the plugins that I just showed you the Blue Cat Chorus, Flanger, Frequency Analyst, and the uh, Gain Suite, the Phaser, Triple EQ, something like that. Okay, and hopefully it helps your production. Thank you. Bye-bye.